Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the starters of Generation 9, Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. We're going to be delving into their designs and what I think they could evolve into in the future. With that being said, let's jump right into things. We don't know a ton about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just yet. We only have one trailer to go off of, but in that trailer, we got the starters revealed. Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. And if you guys have watched some of my previous Scarlet and Violet videos, you will know that I am, at the moment, Team Quaxley. Quaxley is an adorable little duck. It looks like he's just killing it, strutting his stuff, hanging out around the region with his little strange sailor looking hat. I'm very excited to use him in these new games. But a lot of people are Team Sprigatito, they're Team Fuecoco, and that is okay. We don't know what they're going to evolve into just yet. We don't know what their final forms are going to be. We don't know if Fuecoco is going to become another firefighting type, even though I hope you won't. There's a ton of fan speculation online right now, fan art going about the internet of what people want these guys to evolve into. It seems like the general consensus from the community is that this is one of the strongest batches of new starters we've gotten in a couple generations. I think Gen 6 was pretty strong, and I think Gen 7 was also really strong, but Generation 8 seemed to not really do it for many, and Generation 5 was also one of the weaker ones, so you could say that 6 and 7 really were the best gens for starters since Generation 4. And it seems like, hopefully, as long as the evolutions are good, we're going to have another contender in that category with Scarlet and Violet's starters. We don't know about their final evolution types. We know that they all start out as mono, water, grass, and fire types. There have been some Pokemon in the past that have had a dual typing at their original form. I believe Rowlet started off as grass flying and that eventually changed into grass ghost when he turned into Decidueye. So there's nothing fancy going on here. It's just the basic typings for the starters. And for me personally, there's a couple things that I think they could do with these starters that would make them winners in my eyes. Firstly, let's start with Quaxley. I don't want them to do anything crazy with Quaxley's design. I hope that they continue to make Quaxley just a larger, stronger sailor duck. Eventually, it'll still be on two legs just as it is in its first form, and I hope they keep it that way, but I don't want them to do anything crazy ridiculous with this Pokemon. The design is already pretty simple, and it's really good simple. Some Pokemon designs are simplistic and boring like Voltorb. Others are simplistic and they have some flair like Charmander. So hopefully, Fuecoco, Quaxley Quaxley remains this way and doesn't really make and have too many alterations. I don't want it to get some sort of feature that isn't already present on its design. Maybe its hat continues to grow and it's incorporated into a cape or some sort of larger design. Maybe it takes on some more of that sailor motif with some sort of outfit that is attached to its body as Pokemon likes to do. Something like that I think would be good. Simple is what I think needs to be the key with Quaxley. As for a typing, I would really like Quaxley to become a water psychic type. Something about its design, something about the color of blue, the shade of blue that it is, makes me feel like psychic is a typing that would work well for it. Quaxley could use its psychic powers to navigate the open oceans around this region, similar to how sailors use the stars in the, in the sky to kind of map where they're going, the constellations. That could be a really nice lore bit. It's going to be really interesting to see what Quaxley eventually turns into. Now, before going any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. When it comes to Fuecoco, there's a couple things I would like to see happen. The first is that I want it to become a giant dinosaur. I understand that it's a crocodile, it's it's what it was in its name, but you can pull for some ancient crocodiles. Dinosuchus, for example, was an ancient super croc that existed, I believe, either in the Triassic or the Cretaceous periods. That could be a Pokemon you could pull from. You could pull from what seems to be another bit of inspiration given its design, and that is some types of food that is in the region. It looks like like an apple, almost. Like the if you cut an apple in half and you were to look inside of it, that's kind of what Fuecoco looks like. So maybe a giant apple dragon. I will say it was interesting because when we first saw Fuecoco, I got big Applin vibes. Applin was, of course, a Pokemon in Generation 8. It had that apple motif. It was a dragon type. This could be something similar. Who knows? But I would like to also see them make a new uh, dual typing for Fuecoco. I could actually see him staying mono fire type, but I think a fire grass type Pokemon 
or a fire poison type, or maybe fire dragon, who knows, would probably be the best three. They could wow us and do something crazy like the fire grass. I think fire grass would be an exceptional type for a final evolution of Fue Coco, and it would really do some interesting things to the starter trio combination, giving it the typing of another member of the trio. That could be a reason they choose not to pursue this, but I don't think they should back down from that. Some sort of dinosaur crocodile inspiration, and definitely an interesting type like fire grass, which we don't have a ton of. I don't if I don't know if we have any, to be honest. Or fire poison would be really cool for this little croc. The last starter we had to talk about is Spiritito, the little cat that I don't really love all that much. It's a pure grass type, and I have one ask. I just I just have one. One of the Pokemon that I love that a lot of people don't is Fennekin. Fennekin started out on all fours and eventually it turned into Delphox, which stood up on two legs and looked a lot more humanoid. Now, I really like Delphox. It's my favorite Kalos starter. I don't love the Kalos true to begin with, but Fennekin is, is up there uh, with some of my favorite starters. But I could understand the people who wanted it to remain on four legs. So, Sprigatito, Game Freak, just have it evolve into a big cat. That's it. We don't need something fancy. We don't need some crazy flares. If you wanted to keep it grass mono, that would be cool. I could see it turning into grass dark. That would be a really interesting typing. The typing is what it is. Its stats is what it is. How it fits into the region, I'm sure they're going to find plenty of inspiration. They, they never run out of inspiration for Pokemon designs. There are countless videos on YouTube going through how almost every single Pokemon pulls from various bits of lore throughout the world. All of this is going to be true until the end of time, until they run out of Pokemon and they design like 10,000 of them when we're all in our 90s. Until then, just make it a big cat on four legs maybe give it a second typing. I know I'm not giving a lot of detail. I don't love this starter, <laughs> but for the people that do, because it gives me strong Fennekin vibes and I'm hoping it doesn't evolve the same way, hopefully for you guys, it stays on all fours. It's a nice little cat. I'm looking at my cat right now as I'm recording this. She is chilling on the bed. Just stay a cat. That's it. That's all I have to say on Sprigatito. And that's all I have to say on the starters in general. Short video, just a little informal. Uh, wanted to ease back into uploading. Took a couple days off more than I would have liked, but there's been some personal stuff going on. So I had to have the channel take a back seat, but we're back. I'm working on a bunch of videos that have been coming out in the next two weeks that hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. But if you enjoyed this video about the Gen 9 starters, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel like I mentioned before. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.